Hi, Dr. Cuccio here. I'm an indie game developer and I'm currently making Moons of Darsalam, the save them all pixel art game that doesn't look like any other pixel art game. In this video, I'm going to tell you about one of the cool features of Moons of Darsalam, more precisely, the GIF Maker. GIF Maker. This is not a very common feature in games. I only know one game that has something similar. It's My Friend Pedro by Dead Toast Entertainment and published by Devolver Digital. I don't know how it is and how it works exactly because I didn't play this game, but what I read on the internet is that it seems to be automatic. It detects when you are doing cool stuff, which also, as per what I read, it doesn't work as expected all the times. In any case, I always thought that a gift maker was a super cool feature. Now, in Moons of Darsalon, there's not automatic detection of cool action prone to the gif size. On the contrary, the game is constantly recording video on a cycle loop tape. This is similar to how security cameras work, recording the last 24 hours and the new material replaces the old, so you always have the last 24 hours. Well, in Moons of Darsalon, it records the last 10, 20, 30 seconds, this is still not decided, because the maximum time depends on the memory of your computer, but in any case, it will be a decent amount of seconds that in the moment you see something cool that just happened during your gameplay, you can pause the game, enter the GIF maker, and rewind to the moment of the cool action started, and then adjust some settings and export as a GIF. How does it work? About the technical things of this feature, I will probably do another video explaining how it works internally and why my video recording system is not making any overhead. But you are not interested in these technical things, so do not subscribe to this channel, that will be stupid. What you are interested in is how to use the GIF Maker and what exactly you can do with it. How to use the GIF Maker? First of all, you need to pause the game, which brings the options menu. Select the GIF Maker and once here, you'll see the last second of gameplay in a loop. Next, you should go to start to select the first frame of the GIF Press the button and while pressing, move left to rewind and right to fast forward. End button is exactly the same but for the last frame of the GIF. With play, you can have a preview of how your GIF is gonna play and cycle. Now, the next options are not so obvious. Size will crop the GIF. If the action happens very close to the protagonist, you might want to use this to make the GIF smaller so everything looks bigger when you share it on Twitter or anywhere. Aim. This works together with size. If you have the maximum size, aim won't do anything. But if you crop the frame with size, aim will do its thing. Well, it, not always. It will only do its thing if you were aiming on the frames you are going to export as a GIF. Yeah, I know, this was confusing. Let me put it this way. While playing, you can aim with a left stick, and this moves the camera on the direction you are aiming at, so you can see more area. This shifts the protagonist off the center of the screen, which is normal, but if you crop the frames a lot, it might cause the impression the camera is moving too much, or even cause the protagonist to be off screen. In short, setting aim to the minimum will keep the protagonist always in the center, and setting it to higher levels will use the in game aiming input to shift the camera in the same way it does during gameplay, but you can control how much. Still not clear? Okay, let's do an example. Mind that while I'm controlling the ship, I'm moving the right stick here and there to shift the camera. I rescued this guy and we want to share it. So I pause the game, I get into the GIF maker and I go directly to start to select the first frame. Then I do the same with the last frame. And 
And then I realized that because I cropped the frame a little, half of the ship is off screen. But we can fix it with the aim control. If we set it to the minimum, the ship is still not in the center of the screen because the game does an extra camera shifting when you are controlling vehicles, but at least we can get the whole ship on screen. Of course, if I set aim to its maximum value, it gets worse. We can even adjust aim while the loop is playing. Note that the camera is shaking a lot because I was touching the right stick and all those little movements get maximized when aim is on the higher setting. To have the same amount of camera shifting that we get during gameplay, you have to set it on the middle. But for this specific gear, it is better to set it on the minimum. Explorer button will, of course, explore the GIF. It will do it in your user folder, which if you are in Windows, it's located on C slash users slash your username slash moons of Darcel. But anyway, this might change in the final version of the game. Because I am on a Mac, my user folder is a Macintosh HD, users, Kucho, and moons of Darcel. Echo button. This is economic mode on or off. If echo is on, the GIF will be rendered so one fat pixel equals one real pixel, so the file size will be smaller and the image will be smaller too. We should be no problem because you can scale it and because it's pixel art, you should not see any difference. Well, you will feel the parallax movements chunkier because of something I will explain in another video, but that should be all. Remember not to subscribe if you are not interested in the technical aspects. The problem with Echo Off is that Twitter, for example, blurs the images that are very small, including GIFs, and despite I am fine of blurring pixel art as part of CRT filtering, the blur that Twitter does on this small GIF is too much. That's why I have made two modes, Echo On and Off. With Echo Off, the pixels will be twice the size, Twitter won't add any blur, but then the problem is that the file size will be easy to be bigger than 15 megabytes for GIFs of more than 10 seconds or so. And 15 megabytes is the maximum size Twitter allows for a GIF. That's why I added the approx size indicator, which tries to estimate the size of the file, but it is a little bit of a mess, it doesn't work very well. You have to mind that the size can't be calculated precisely because it's not just about the dimensions and the amount of frames, but also about the pixels themselves, including on each frame. GIF is a compressed format, so the size will vary depending on the image. To calculate the exact size of a GIF requires to execute the compression itself. At least, as far as I know. If you have any magic method to calculate this, let me know in the comments below. Try for yourself. In the moment of recording this video, Moons of Dorsalon is not yet released. Which is probably okay for you, because you are a very patient person, so you won't be totally desperate to try this super cool and ultra innovative feature. No problem at all. You don't need to calm down your gift maker craven. You don't need to research in my previous games for a prequel, or more precisely, a pre-spin-off, to see if I have included this mind-blowing feature.